All right, YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney, and today we're talking about protected veterans. Um, and this is something that I don't think gets enough attention in the world of employment law. I know a lot of times we'll bring claims for veterans. A lot, often, all too often, those claims are perceived disability claims or disability discrimination claims, where an employer is saying, oh, I bet you have PTSD, or, uh, or the individual actually has PTSD and the employer is targeting that individual because of a poor understanding of the symptoms of PTSD, what it's like to live with PTSD. Uh, and many employers just don't understand that, of course, you can do a variety of jobs with, uh, with or without accommodations if you are living with PTSD, right? That is obvious to, I think, most people. But unfortunately, apparently it's not because many employers... Um, just terminate the minute they hear PTSD or even assume PTSD. They just, they go ahead and terminate. So it's a, it's a disaster. Now, if you do qualify as a protected veteran, you um, specifically cannot be denied, denied employment, harassed, demoted, terminated, paid less or treated less favorably because of your veteran status. That's really key. And this is not the only way that veterans are protected. This is under the, uh, what I call the VIVRA. Uh, specifically, it's the V-E-V-R-A-A. -A. Um, but these are an additional level of protections for what are called protected veterans. And that leads us to the question, obviously, am I a protected veteran? And there's a flow chart, kind of a test that I'm gonna link down below, but We'll go through the test real quick. Did you serve active duty in the U.S. military? Uh, and there's a list here that they include of the kind of the dates of service that are um, going to be counted as active duty. And then the second question is, were you discharged or released from service under conditions other than dishonorable? So if you had a dishonorable discharge, there's, you know, potentially you may not be getting protected veteran status. Um, but if you served during the periods they specify, and you'll have to look them up, I'm going to link below, um, and you, you, know, you were discharged and it was not dishonorable, then the second question is, are you a disabled veteran? Are you a recently separated veteran? Um, were you active duty wartime or, or a campaign badge veteran? And the last question is... Um, Armed Forces Service Medal Veterans. Did you serve on active duty in a U.S. military operation for which an Armed Forces Service Medal was awarded pursuant to executive order, blah, blah, blah. So those are four additional criteria. If you can say yes to any one of those, then it's very likely under this test that you are a protected veteran and you're going to have additional layers of protections uh, in the workplace. So you should be aware of that. Check this list, uh, this test down below. I'm linking it and be aware this is not the only protections for veterans. There are additional protections for veterans. This is merely one of them. And I want you to know all your rights and all your options and all your protections because God, you deserve better. You deserve better than the way all too many employers are treating you. It's gross. It's disgusting. And um, I know a lot of firms don't even take these cases, which is also gross and disgusting, in my opinion. Um, good luck to you. I hope this helps. If it helps, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me to help more people just like you. And uh, I will make an additional video on other protections for veterans in the workplace uh, coming up probably next week. Take care.